Hello everyone, it's good to see you again. Since the release of the first part of the video about face recognition in the Ton Photos application, the program has been updated several times and many new features have been added. If you haven't watched the first part yet, we recommend you to start watching it first. The link is in the description under the video. This video is based on version 1.912, current as of early August 2024. The program is developing rapidly, so after watching this video, be sure to check if there are more recent releases on the channel to stay up to date with all the useful functionality. So, let's get started. Let's start with a significant function, the ability to disable face recognition in photos in archives. If you need to connect a new folder to the archive and index it as quickly as possible to understand what to move to the main archive and what you do not need, Waiting for full recognition of all faces in the photos simply does not make sense at this stage. Now it is possible to disable face recognition, speeding up the scanning process several times. Go to the File menu section and select Library Locations in the pop-up menu. Or you can use the hockey ALT Shift L and we will immediately get to the Archive Location Management menu. Here we select the folder we are interested in, and in the menu that appears on the right we cancel Face Recognition. If you want, you can also disable the processing of video files as it takes a lot of time. Previously, in order to assign a face to a person, you had to select the desired person from a large list of people in a pop-up menu. This is a very convenient method when there are very few people, for example, a couple of dozen. But while using the program, there are a lot of them, and scrolling through a long list each time becomes difficult. An alternative method for selecting a person has been added to the program now. Let's get started. The program has offered us new faces for a person, but one of them belongs to another person. Hover over the photo and press right mouse button. In the pop-up context menu, select This Is, but the list there is very long. Instead of that, select Enter Person Name, or you can use the hockey F2 to assign the desired name. The same operation also works for several photos. Holding down Ctrl plus left mouse button, select the photos on which you want to mark John. Press F2 and enter the beginning of the name in the search bar and get the result. To confirm the person, you need to press the down arrow and enter. If it is not the first one in the list, you need to press the arrow several times. You can also enter not only one name, but search for a person by name and surname. This is useful when, for example, we have a lot of people with the same surname. Selecting photos, use the hockey to open the search and enter the name and surname, but not completely, only the first letters. This will be enough for the program to find the person. In addition, to the methods described above this functionality can also be used in the information panel on the right. There you can use the context menu which opens by right-clicking on the photo and select Enter Person Name. Then find an existing person or designate a new one in the search menu. During photo viewing mode, the search line for finding people will also open after double-clicking left mouse button on the selected area of the face that has not been assigned to any person. To create a new person, we enter the name Michael, and even if we don't have such a name in the list, we click Done and after that a new person will appear under the name Michael. If it suddenly happens that you have tagged the wrong person in a photo, then the new function Recent Facial Actions with Faces comes to the rescue. When you press the key Ctrl Z for Windows and Common Z for Mac OS, a dialog box opens where all the recent actions with faces are displayed, where you can undo these very actions. And if you deleted a face, you can add it back by pressing the corresponding key or remove the tagged person. The quick search by name function is very convenient when you need to quickly find a person in a huge library. Clicking on the magnifying glass icon in the upper right corner, you open the search bar. It can also be opened using the hockey control. Enter the name Max and go quickly to the desired person in the section People. In fact, you do not need to enter the full name. Often the first couple of letters are enough and the desired result appears in the list. If you have a lot of people with this name, you can enter the first couple of letters of the first name and then the first couple of letters of the last name after a space. Now let's talk about how to find all photos with unmarked people. This feature is a part of the new filters function. 
We recorded a separate detailed video about searching and filters. The link is in the description. In order to find all those photos, select the File section in the main menu of the application and select the Show All Files with Unassigned Faces menu item. All found files will be sorted by dates and events. You can also add this filter through the input line in the toolbar. What's also nice is that it can be combined with any other filters, for example, viewing files only from a specific album. Let's say, after celebrating the new year with your family, you want to tag everyone who was there, so that you can give the guests all the photos in which they are. To do this, first add all the photos from the folder with these pictures to a new album, New Year with a Family. Then, add the filter New Year with a Family and Unassigned Faces. Next, we see all the photos in which we did not have time to tag people. This way, no photo from the celebration will be hidden from you. But there are also photos in which there are strangers, and you simply do not need it, and you do not want to mark them all. There is a wonderful function that allows you to delete all unmarked faces. For example, after a summer vacation, there are photos where there are many strangers in the background. To clear photos of unnecessary faces, select the photos in which you need to delete unmarked faces, press the hockey control i and then in the information panel we see that all unmarked people have disappeared thus you can easily maintain perfect cleanliness in your family archive in the same way you can delete unnecessary faces from all photos and folder at once to do this select all the files using control a and press control i Of course, the function is also in the context menu in case you prefer to work only with mouse. The longer you collect your archive, the more photos with different people there are. And at some point, it becomes very easy to get confused in a large group of people. In order not to come up with creative nicknames like Alex my classmate, the grouping faces function is ideal for solving this problem. To add people to a group, go to the section people. Right-click on the person's name and select Add to and New Group in the pop-up menu if you want to create a new group or select an existing group, My Classmates. One person can be added to several groups at once. If you accidentally added them to the wrong place, you can also remove them from the group through the context menu. Now as people can be hidden in groups, it is not so easy to see which person has new face suggestions. This icon in the status bar below comes to the rescue. When it appears, it means that the program has automatically found faces similar to those people who have already been marked and offers results to you for confirmation. Clicking on this icon, you will move to the next person who has such suggestions. Clicking on it several times, you will switch in a circle between such people. You can speed up the process using the hockey control in for Windows or Command plus in for Mac OS. Now the program has learned to automatically suggest what other people are in your library that you have not marked yet. In order to use this functionality, you need to click on the File button in the upper left corner and select Suggest a new person in the pop-up menu. The program will immediately check all the faces in your library that are not linked to the people you have already marked. The program looks for faces that are not similar to added ones, ignoring completely identical photos. In the menu that appears, we will have several options for what we can do. Just mark this person from your library, clicking on the This Is button and find it in the list, or create a new person by entering the name. There are cases when it is not entirely clear who this person in the photo is. An inconvenient angle or poor quality of the photo does not allow us to immediately understand who it is. In order to get a better look at a person, clicking on the Go to Photo button, we will immediately be transferred to the location of this frame and the photo will be selected. If you open this dialog box again, the same faces will be there so you can make a decision again. Also, you can decide whether to add this person to the library now or ignore. Clicking the Ignore button, the program will offer the option of deleting this person's face from the library. If necessary, you can refuse it.
It is important to note that this function offers each time a random person without any specific sequence, so you should not expect the program to consistently show every single possible person. Once again, we will talk about the wonderful filter function. Let me remind you that we talked about the search capabilities in detail in the previous video. You should follow the link in the description. And now let's look at a specific example of searching for joint photos of Robert and Anne. Click on the corresponding button in the toolbar or use the hockey control alt -f. Add two filters, Robert and Anne, and we will see those photos where they are marked together. In addition, you can add a negative tag, Lilia. As a result, those photos where Lilia is present will be excluded. To sum up, in the version 1.9.12 of the Ton Photos application, we have found out how new features can significantly simplify the management of your photo archive and improve the process of face recognition and management. Now you know how to speed up the scanning of archives and effectively assign and group faces. Do not forget that the software continues to evolve and new useful features may appear in the future. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for updates not to miss important improvements and tips for using Ton Photos. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in our forum at this link. We are always happy to help and discuss your ideas. Good luck with your photo archive.